Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The PLA Rocket Force or PLA RF fields a variety of conventional mobile ground launch short medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles and ground launched cruise missiles. The PLA RF's ground based missile force complement the air and sea based precision strike capabilities of PLA Air Force and PLA Navy. The PLA Rocket Force conventional missiles includes a variety of missiles and these are CSS-6 or DF-15 which is a short range ballistic missile with a range of 725 to 850 kilometers, CSS-7 or DF-11 which is again an SRBM with a range of 600 kilometers, CSS-11 or DF-16 which is again an SRBM with a range of 700 kilometers, land attack and anti-ship variant of CSS-5 or DF-21 which is MRBM having a range of 1500 kilometers the hypersonic capable DF-17, the DF-26 IRBM with a range approximately 3000 km, CJ-10 or DS-10 which is a ground launch cruise missile having a range of 1500 km, CJ-100 or DF-100 which is again a ground launch cruise missile having a range of approximately 2000 km. The PLA's Rocket Force conventionally armed CSS-5 Mod-5 also known as DF-21D which is an anti-ship ballistic missile variant gives the PLA capability to conduct long-range precision strike against ships including aircraft carriers out to western Pacific from mainland China. The DF-21D has a range exceeding 1500 km and is fitted with a maneuverable re-entry vehicle or MARV and is reportedly capable of rapidly reloading in the field. The PLA Rocket Force continues to grow its inventory of DF-26 IRBMs which is first revealed in 2015 and fielded in 2016. The multi-role DF-26 is designed to rapidly swap conventional and nuclear warheads and is capable of conducting precision land attack and anti-ship strikes in the western pacific, indian ocean and south china sea from the mainland china. In 2020, the PRC fielded its anti-ship ballistic missile against a moving target in south china sea but has not acknowledged doing so. In 2020, the PRC had begun operational fielding of DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicle capable MRBM with fielding possibly intended to replace some of the older SRBM units. The PLA Rocket Force is developing and testing several new variants of theater range missiles and developing capabilities and methods to counter adversaries ballistic missile defense systems. This was more than the rest of world combined excluding ballistic missile employment in conflict zones. The DF-17 passed several tests successfully and is deployed operationally. While DF-17 is primarily a conventional platform, it may be equipped with nuclear warheads. In 2020, a PRC-based military expert described the primary purpose of DF-17 as striking foreign military bases and fleets in the Western Pacific. The PLA Rocket Force is also developing intercontinental ballistic missiles that will significantly improve its nuclear capable missile forces with more survival delivery system and will require increased nuclear warhead production partially due to the introduction of multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle or MIRV capabilities. Already the PRC appears to have doubling the numbers of launchers in some of the ICBM units. The PRC's ICBM arsenal consists of approximately 100 ICBMs including fixed and mobile launchers capable of launching unitary and multiple re-entry vehicles. The China's fixed ICBMs consist of short-range CSS-3 or DF-4, silo-based CSS-4 Mod-2 or DF-5A, MIRV equipped Mod-3 which is also called DS-5B which is capable of carrying 5 MIRVs. PRC media indicates a follow-on of DF-5C may be in development. The solid fuel road mobile CSS-10 class and CSS-20 which is also called DF-41 ICBMs complement this force. The CSS-10 Mod-2 which is called DF-31A has a range in excess of 11,000 km 
and can reach most of the locations within the continental United States. PRC is building multiple ICBM silos intended to support the land-based components of PRC's nuclear triad. Additionally, sources indicates a long-range DF-27 ballistic missile is in development. The range of DF-27 is reported to be between 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers, which indicates that it could be China's new IRBM or ICBM. The recent leak of US military classified documents not only reveals some striking information about ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, but also regarding China's DF-27 missile. The document talks about the latest test conducted by Beijing of DF-27 hypersonic glide vehicle on 25th February 2023. It said that the vehicle flew for 12 minutes, covering 2,100 kilometers and it poses a high probability of penetrating U.S. ballistic missile defense system. The leaks have exposed the massive leap that Beijing has made in its hypersonic program. The DF-27, which is in development since 2021, is expected to have a range between 5,000 to 8,000 km, which could open possibilities of U.S. targets in Hawaii and Alaska, as well as entirety of Australia but would still not be able to reach the conus based targets. Conus or continental United States refers to 48 contiguous states. Now there's one more news and it's confirmed because it's coming directly from the Chinese sources. As per latest report, China has successfully conducted a land-based mid-course anti-ballistic missile technical test on 14th April 2023, making China's seventh publicly announced land-based ABM test since 2010. The mid-course refers to the phase in which missile travels outside the atmosphere after being boosted into its trajectory by a rocket booster in the initial phase. It then re-enters the atmosphere and dives down towards its target in the terminal phase. The mid-course interception of ballistic missile is very challenging as this missile moves at a very high speed and altitude. However, it is the most viable option because it's most unlikely to intercept a ballistic missile in its initial phase, which is deep within the hostile territory. Also, intercepting a diving missile in terminal phase could be too risky. The China's successful and consecutive anti-ballistic missile test shows that it has credibly mastered the technologies related to the ballistic missile interception and it can defend itself against any ballistic missile launch. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.